guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing like a small review on the uh, Emco Beauty um, Christmas Limited Edition Mermaid Collection that Woolworths brought out. Um, I don't have all the products, but I do have a lovely lip gloss, a beautiful, nice glitter palette. I have the uh, Mermaid Highlighting Brick that comes with a cute little brush. I have their Mega Eyeshadow Palette. And I also have their Highlighting Trio Liquid Set. Um, so we're going to give that a go today. So I'm going to jump off for a second, quickly unpackage all of this, and we'll get back to you. Also, if you can hear the fan in the background, I'm really sorry. This room is really hot. It doesn't have air conditioning, so I have a fan right next to me. So hope you guys enjoy. So I unpackaged everything, and now I will be obviously giving everything a little bit of a try. Um, I'm just going to use my usual foundation and concealer today, um, and obviously my own mascara for my bottom lashes, as I can't put them on my lash extensions, which are almost gone, by the way. Um, you guys may not have known that I've got them, but I did. Um, I probably won't be getting them again, because my eyes have actually been quite itchy. Um... So yeah, I'm going to try and go for a nice pinky glittery look today just to make yourself feel a bit better. And obviously my hair has been pink and now it's gone like, after washing it, it's gone to like a nice like rose goldy cotton candy pink. So I'm just going to chuck on my foundation. I think I'm just going to go with an easy base today. Nothing too complicated. No um, primer because I'm not going anywhere. So just something quick and easy to get me through. Just to try out these lovely products. Um, so I'm using the Essence Camouflage oops, um, 2 in 1 Makeup and Concealer. This one is in Ivory 10. It is probably too light for me now that we're in summer and I'm getting a bit more tanner. Ooh, but give it a go. Um, hopefully in the next um, few days there should be a festive video coming up with both me and Michaela in it. Um, if you would like to see any like specific um, videos, please let us know because we would love for your feedback. Oh, I have a lash it's in my way. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with a basic base today. Nothing too major. Just gonna try on some of these products before we go in with the um, powder I want to check out these liquid highlights and see what they're all about because I'm not a huge fan on liquid highlights I do have a couple but it's mainly just I have them for display like I have the um, Australis unicorn one but it's very like I don't know it's very thick and gloopy and then I have the models prefer um, hollow drops, but it's like they separated and I can't seem to like mix it back up. So they're just kind of on display. So we'll give these a go now. I'd say these ones are a bit too dark for me. So we'll just pop those up on display for others. But I'm going to go in with the pearl one. It's a nice pinky color. Um, let's have a look what the applicator looks like. Oh, so it's a brush. That's different. Most um, applicators are like droppers or dose foot applicators, but this is actually a, um, kind of reminds me of nail polish, as weird as that is. So I guess we'll just apply some on there. Whoop, that was a bit much. And then work that in. Ooh. I'm not mad about that. That is quite a nice cover. It is a lot more like sparkly I guess but we'll see what it looks like when we um, put on powder over the top because I will still be trying the unicorn highlight as well because you know your girl's got to have some glow. You can't not like 
If you wear one of those people that doesn't put a base on, that would be a perfect highlight for you. It is a gorgeous highlight. Um, but if you're not one to really like, yeah, like, like me, I don't use, um, liquids very often, but my sister Michaela was like, you need to get this one. Oh, even once you put your powder over the top, you can still see it. It's very subtle, but it's there. It's there, girl. It's there. Okay. Now we've got that on. I am sorry, this is going to be a bit of a talkative video because obviously we're trying out some new products. Um, I guess my next, I might actually just chuck some blush on because I didn't get any blush. But that is alright. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give, oh, I've got a hair on me. I'm going to try out my Tarte blush because why not? Give it a go. We're doing a trial video. We'll try out my little miniature Tarte blush that I got. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. It's like a, almost like a peachy colour. Mm, camera's not focusing. Hello. There we go. So yeah, it's a nice colour. I like that. So that's the first class Amazonian clay 12 hour blush. So that is actually quite a nice subtle blush. It's not too like bam in your face. So I guess we'll start off with this beautiful palette. Like come on. And take a little like look at that. This is just stunning. I want to see what this one looks like. Oh wow. I like that. Oh hello. I like that a lot. Oh, it's got like little, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like little goldish flakes in it. Oh, it's like black with gold flakes. Oh, I like. Ooh. I get excited over new products, but which you know. Um, so I said I'm going to start off with a crease color. But you know what? Let's go all out with this. We're going to go with a very bold, bright crease. Let's go in with this very bright pink color. Why not? Let's do it. It's a Monday. Everyone's got to. Ooh. Look at that, like, that is just stunning. I'm probably going to fuck this up, oh, excuse my French, but let's give it a go. Okay, I'm not too mad about that. Like, this is a very bright colour, and I don't normally do bright colours, but, eh, let's have some fun, why not? I guess you gotta have fun once in a while. Now I'm just evening out the colour, and obviously blending, you gotta blend, blend, blend. And now before I put the, oh, my back, my, so at the moment we just have this bright pinkness. I have pink on my finger still. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously do my inner corner quickly before I forget. Like I did the other day, I went out somewhere and I forgot to do my inner corner and it looked so funny. So I'm just using a nice shimmery color out of palette. Now I'm worried about the gel, like I'm worried about the, um, glittery eyeshadows because most glittery eyeshadow palettes as soon as you wipe that first layer off no more glitter left there's pretty much nothing nada zilch so um what i might do is i might just put a light glitter as its base so just this probably just this like shimmery pastel-y pink color or even the one next to it so maybe even this one here this one here maybe just so if it does wear off there is still something there you know, you don't want to have 
Oh, I like that. That's like a, a peachy rose gold color. You don't want to have no eyeshadow on. Oh, I actually really like that. These for, so I think this one, I got this one on sale for $10 and I feel really bad because my camera's in a really horrible position. So sorry about that. I'm still working on that. It's a bit high up compared to normal, but my sister wanted me to try some new camera angles. So we'll give it a go. Ooh. Like for an eyeshadow palette that comes out for Christmas sales for a company to make money, this is actually a really nice palette. Like I would legit go out and buy this because it is worth it. I think it might have originally been 15, but I paid 10 on sale because obviously eight sleeps till Christmas. Um, but no, it's got some lovely colors in it and I don't normally go for bright colors because I'm not normally a very bright colored person, but I thought, you know what, let's do it. Now let's check out this gorgeous palette of glitters. Like, oh, now let's do the test of I reckon it's going to be like I said and once you use that first layer it's just going to be a weird gel uh, there's a little bit there but we'll see how it goes now I'm going to be using this bright pink here and I think I might just I'll give it a go with a thick brush first and then if not I'll go in with my fingers so give it a go see what it's like I guess yeah it's kind of like a clear gel underneath so I'm kind of just mixing it in a little bit so I don't um, just have clear glitter afterwards okay so let's put a little bit of glitter on there but I just I don't know I'm not a huge fan of glitter palettes and this one especially I'm very bummed about after the eyeshadow palette being so amazing I Yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Like, it's gone pretty much straight to, like, a clear gel. And my eyes are really, really sticky. So, sorry, Woolworths. I'm not a huge fan about this one. I may use it for just, like, muck around uses. But now I need to find my brush I used before. Because my eyelids are super sticky. And I want to get rid of that stickiness. So, I'm going to go back in with that shade in the palette that I used before. I'm just going to cover over that because I can't handle how sticky that is. I just, it wasn't the nicest feeling. It legit felt like I had glue. It still kind of feels like I have glue on my eyelid, but I don't want to ruin my eyeshadow because it's actually a really cute eyeshadow look. Um, but I guess it was worth a try. You can't say no to something until you try it I just so I've just covered over that glitter with um, the color in the palette um, so yeah I was pretty I'm pretty bummed about that like I was expecting more because this palette is amazing I'm going to be using this palette no matter what this one I think I'm gonna give to my sister for the kids to play around with I think this one was only about five dollars but I really don't recommend it because it pretty much just, it's just like, it felt like hair gel. I would not use it. So the next thing, well, quickly I'm going to put on some mascara and I'll try out my new Tarte Amazonian Clay um, on the bottom. Oh, I like, I like that.
Okay, now that part's done, um, we will try out this beautiful set here. Now the brush is actually really soft. I'm actually really impressed with the brush. Um, it looks a bit chalky and feels a little bit chalky, but it's got like a cool effect to it if you use all of the colors in one. I do, don't know if you can see that, but like, I love things like this. So I'm just gonna go straight across one swipe, tap off any excess. Gives you like a grayish blue highlight. And like, I'm not mad about it. Oh, that side was a bit in your face much. Oopsies. That's a very bluish color, that side. Let's fix this side up, shall we? Um, the brush felt soft on my hand, but now it's a bit like stiffer when I use it on my face. I kind of hate it. Like, I reckon this um, highlight would be good for just like a dramatic look. Just like some fun, I guess. Because it's very blue. Oh, my eyes feel so sticky. Okay, now I'm going to be trying their Luna colored lip gloss. I'm not a huge fan of lip gloss either, guys. But they didn't really have anything else apart from lip gloss. I just don't like the sticky consistency of it. Oh, it smells like candy. Mmm. I like them. So very sticky, if you can tell. Um, for a young kid starting out, great. Like, it's a great product. It smells amazing. I just want to kind of, like, eat it off my lips. But as you can see, as I talk, it's just kind of sticking to my lips. And it feels very, like, 2000s. Like, back in primary school, just, like, lathering on the lip gloss. Being like, hey, I got a new lip gloss today. But all, all in all, I would have to admit, the liquid highlights, the... Um, Mermaid Highlighter Brick and the eyeshadow palette. My favorite things ever, especially this pink eyeshadow. I am loving it. The gel palette, I'm really bummed about. And the lip gloss is just way too sticky for my liking. I'm probably going to take it off in the next, like, two minutes. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this film clip. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe and leave any comments that you guys would like to leave. Just no hate. Um, and also let us know what videos you would like us to do next. We are always up for your opinions, and yeah, hopefully there'll be a Christmas one coming soon. Hope you have a lovely day. Bye!